So we have here two great little electric vans, a Peugeot Partner and a Nissan EMV 200. Let's see which one gets the most range. So since the EMV 200 is loaded up with our camper van conversion, I thought it's only fair if we uh, load up the Partner here with some, uh, with some wood to try and balance out the load. So here we are, the Peugeot Partner, turning it on, or booting it up shall we say and it's showing 72 miles and uh, it's done 11,800 miles so significantly less than the over 30,000 miles that the EV200 has done so it's going to reset the trip there and uh, it might be hard to see because of the sun but we're also going to reset the trip up here this shows us how many miles per kilowatt hour we've done just turn on the EV200 it's showing 77 miles of range. Um, obviously that is not an indication of how much range we'll get. It's based on how the van was driven last time. I'm just uh, resetting the economy. Reset the trip to zero. There you go, trip is zeroed. 77 miles, 100% charge. All right, let's go. Now, I 
we weren't just driving around aimlessly today. Um, we're here on the Sim Peninsula. Snowdonia, we're going climbing. All right, made it up to the crag. Bit of a heathery bushwhack. Awesome, good. And this level here, it's like an infinity pool. Okay, we're back home again in the Peugeot Partner. So we drove 34 miles, we got an economy of 3.8 miles per kilowatt hour. On the way back, we got significantly lower miles per kilowatt hour than the way there, mainly because it was colder with the heating on and also there's less traffic, so we drove, uh, we drove faster. Um, so we started off with uh, 70 something miles, I'll, I'll put up the exact uh, figure on the video here, um, and we've got 36 left. So it looks like we've, we're about spot on 50% um, battery. So yeah, we're looking at about 70 miles of range, seems about right for this van, driving normally. Let's see how the NV200 has done. Tired little doggy. No, this is a good day. I not climb with us, traveling about. Be my wingman. We've been loving this three, three bench seat here. Um, this, sorry, really. This seat lifts up to make give you more space. Or that one falls down. If you want to put a ladder in here, or they can both fold up to get out of the way. Really nice, flexible seating arrangement. The Nissan ENV200 used exactly 50% charge to travel the same 33.5 miles with an efficiency of 4 miles per kilowatt hour which is slightly better than the Peugeot Partner however we don't want to trust the on-screen display the real test will be when we charge both vehicles back to 100% and measure accurately the amount of energy used for this trip it's on uh, 32 amps but this van is only going to be able to charge um, I think it's about 14 amps max um, 3.3 kilowatts. So this will tell us uh, that figure there on the left is how many um, watt hours have been put into the vehicle. So we'll see how much energy it needs to get it back to 100%. There we go. 11.8. There we go. 14. That's its max charge current. Slightly strange uh, location here of the AC Type 1 charge point. Um, kind of quite do quite like the one that's at the front on the ENV 200. But what's even more strange is uh, well. It's not strange in its location. Um, the Chalamo port here. Um, Chalamo you know, rapid charge port. See, it's a bit dark. But obviously, when you open the door, you can't get to the port. They have thought of this. The door disables itself when you are rapid charging, um, which can be a bit awkward. But it's probably not a big deal since you're usually rapid charging. You know, when you're at a motorway services rather than unloading on a job. Um, but that is something to note. Not sure why they didn't put the the rapid charger on this side because there's no door so it wouldn't have got in the way at all but there we go you just have to remember remember which side is which uh, charging socket 
and like the MV200, they're both um, you know nicely positioned at the front. So the Persia Bonnet has just finished charging, and it took 10.364 kilowatt hours to get back to 100%. Okay, the Nissan EV200 has finished charging, charged overnight with low carbon off-peak electrons, and it used 9.86 kilowatt hours to charge back to 100%. Looks like we have a winner. So to conclude this test, the Nissan EV200 used 5% less energy. This is not particularly significant and it's probably close enough to call it a tie. As previously stated, the energy measured was the energy required to charge both vehicles back to 100%. The Persia Partner was charged at its max rate of 3.3 kilowatts, while the ENV200 was charged at 6.6 .6 kilowatts. I have a theory that charging faster can be more efficient. Since these figures include charging losses, maybe that could be the reason for the slightly higher consumption by the Persia Partner. I still think the Persia Partner could potentially be more efficient at motorway speeds due to being slightly smaller and lighter. Both are really great electric vans, however my preference would be for the Nissan ENV200. Check out my other videos where I convert our Nissan ENV200 to a camper van.